Hi, I'm Maggie Ballard. I am the new City Council member for District 6. Today we will be talking about some work that will be coming to Museum Boulevard soon by the Wichita Art Museum. With me is Bill Perkins under the City Water Utility and Gary Ferris with City Forestry. Bill, what construction will we see soon? So construction on Museum Boulevard you're going to see real soon um, has to do with some existing pipes and connections to those pipes. With the construction of the Northwest Water Treatment Plant, um, there will be some pipelines that have to wrap around the existing water treatment plant, and especially there just west of the Art Museum. Uh, there's some existing pipes under Museum Boulevard um, uh, that we have to connect to. That's basically how we're going to get a lot of the finished water out into the system to go out to the customers. So there's, there, over the next two years, there will be a lot of significant construction in that area. But immediately now, this winter, we need to get in and do some testing to prepare for that work. And we have some valves that we need to test. And as part of that, we're going to dig up three of those large pipes that are under Museum Boulevard in that area. The way the valving was configured back when all that area was originally uh, built, it w really wasn't built with the idea of another plant coming in and connecting. And so we've found that we need to do this testing now so that we're prepared and uh, when we come in next winter to do that work. And we try to do a lot of this type of work in the winter when our demands are lower so we, we, we have that flexibility with our water supplies. Okay. Um, and are there any other impacts that uh, maybe we should be not worried about but have knowledge of? So with, with this work going on here along Museum Boulevard, um, digging up these pipes, it's going to be some large excavations. So we're going to have to close some streets. There's going to be a little bit of a rerouting of traffic with some traffic control set out. And we're going to have to remove a few trees. We're going to have to uh, uh, work with some of the sidewalks and some of the other things in that area. But particularly, there's, there's several uh, larger trees there. Well, there's several smaller trees on the north side of the road. There's one larger tree out in the middle that's going to have to come out. Okay. Um, could you discuss the need to remove the hackberry tree? So the, the hackberry tree in particular, is it, it's a large tree and we understand that. Um, we try to look at other options of where we might be able to do this work and not have to take it out. But everything we looked at, basically we were negatively impacting other large trees plus still possibly having to have negative impacts on it. So, so by focusing on it, we were able to save some other large trees in that area. I know that will be appreciated um, from the neighborhood. Um, can you discuss the type of tree, the age, and the health impacts? Sure, I can talk about that. The hackberry the, is going to be really the most impacted. It is in the median as you drive west on Museum Boulevard there, just past the west entrance to the parking lot. Um, it's a very large tree, multiple stems. Um, I've heard it called probably the largest hackberry in the county. Um, who knows how old it is? Um, I was told that a lot of the pipes that Bill was talking about were put in, installed in 54. The likelihood of that tree being there is really high. Uh, so 50 plus, 75 plus years old is pretty easy. Uh, for, for a tree that size. Um, as far as the overall impacts and health, uh, about half of the root system of this tree is going to be impacted uh, and, and basically just dug up as a part of the, the uh, digging up the pipes and doing excavation that needs to be done to uh, do the testing that needs to be done. So. With knowing that and knowing the size of the tree it is, knowing the age of the tree it is, knowing the species of the tree it is, um, the tree wouldn't live over the construction. Not only would it not live over it long term, but there's a high probability that it would just fail altogether and fall over. So uh, it, it's going to become a hazard if we leave it. Okay. Um, and Bill, we're routing construction to save this elm, but we will have to remove this tree here, right? Yeah, so that's what I was kind of alluding to earlier. We, we'd, we'd looked at some options, maybe going out in the, there's a paved area between that large American elm and, and this hackberry. We tried to think about going out there, but basically what we, we'd heard was we were going to be too close to that elm. And so 
again, trying to save some of their larger trees, this, this hackberry ended up being kind of the focus area for this work. Um, how much longer do you think this tree would live if we weren't having to remove it? Well, quite honestly, I'm surprised this tree's still there, just based on the species it is. Uh, not because of the road or not because of the pipes, not because of any of that, but just in South Central Kansas, hackberries don't tend to last as long as this one has. And, and that's not to say that I don't appreciate the tree itself because it's a grand tree. It's a beautiful tree. And anybody who's driven by on Museum Boulevard, coming, you know, going west, going east, doesn't matter. That is an iconic tree. Um, <clears throat> however, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you how many more years, if we weren't doing this work, that this tree would live. But with close inspection through this project and, and all of that, uh, I have discovered that there are some pretty significant structural uh, weaknesses in this tree. And the decision to uh, do the excavation where it's happening away from the American Elm that's further to the east on the other median, that's a great decision. Uh, the, the elm is in really good condition. Nothing is wrong with that elm. It's structurally sound. This hackberry really wouldn't pass inspection uh, just based on structural integrity. Yes, it's still standing. Yes, I don't have a crystal ball. But uh, certainly, if I was going to have to pick between the two trees, unfortunately, I would take the hackberry just to, just to not have to damage both of them. Okay, um, and the big question, will we be planting new trees? Of course, of course. Uh, we're going to work, uh, Forestry is going to work with uh, Public Works and uh, we'll develop a plan to uh, retree the area and then probably some other areas. I believe the new treatment facility is going to have some landscape. We'll be involved in that. So uh, there's going to be some, uh, some trees planted back, not just in this area, but also other to uh, you can't replace the canopy that we're going to lose with this just by planting two or three trees mm -hmm. we're going to need to plant several trees um, and we won't actually replace the full canopy of it but we'll do the best we can okay and how long do we think the construction will last so the construction uh, f the project's construction is through about the end of 2024 and, and again, like I said, over the next couple winters, we'll be back in this area to finish putting in those pipes. And that's the reason we want to wait until that construction's all done before we actually go in and plant uh, trees back in this area. Thank you for sharing with us. As a reminder, um, even while construction is underway, be sure to visit some of the amazing cultural amenities served by this stretch of road, such as the Wichita Art Museum, Cowtown Exploration Place, All-American Indian Museum, and Botanica. Um, as always, be safe driving in the construction zones.